Hey guys, Josh Carter here. Got James. We are going to be doing a walkthrough of the Jackson Nar, so stay tuned. All right, guys, like I said, we're going to be doing a walkthrough of the Jackson Nar. We've had a little bit of time in this boat. We went out camping, we, we had the kids in it. Yep. Um, we didn't, I'm not gonna say we did a lot of fishing in it, but we did a lot of yeah. pedaling around and yeah. testing the boat. And we've had it for a couple months now. Yeah, yeah, we've had it for a little while. And we, and you'll see in this video too, we got a few accessories that we have on this kayak as well. Um, that, you know, if you guys are interested, I'll put the links in the, uh, in the description below here and you can click on that. So, um, but like I said, we've had some time in it. Uh, I think it's a very, you know, right off the start here, I think it's a very impressive boat. And I think Jackson did a really good job on bringing out a, a, a kayak that pedals really well um, and that also gives you plenty of storage. I mean, there's a few things that I wish was a little different, but I mean, it's nothing major. It's nothing yeah. like a, a, you know, I ain't gonna buy this kayak because of this kind of deal. So I don't, we don't have a lot of negative about uh -huh. this kayak. I, I mean, yeah. it's a great tournament fishing platform. And that's, that's what this boat is, in my opinion. Uh, which means nothing, but um, <laughs> it, it's a good tournament boat. You know, like if you're going to fish bigger tournaments, fishing the, where you're going to be in here all day long, um, this is the type of kayak that, that me personally, I like the bigger kayaks and stuff like yeah. that. For this type of situation, you can rig them out. You can just do crazy stuff to them. So Yeah, and you have a lot of weight, you know what I mean? Because you're going to be, especially if you want to go bow mount or stern mount and you know, you got so many different options for or battery sizes and where you want to put your battery. And uh, I mean, and then just some of the stuff that Jackson even gives with the kayak for organization, I think is pretty cool. So, yeah. but let's go ahead, let's start digging into this kayak. We're gonna start from the bow and work ourselves, work our way back to the stern. Maybe eventually we can get out and do some numbers for you guys. I'm not sure, just depends on time and, and all that. We're traveling a lot now with, with these tournaments and stuff. So uh, we like to get out and get some videos and show you guys how this thing performs, but the really good thing about this and having a bow mount kayak is you see a lot of people want a rudder in the rear and the Jackson has that, you know, and you can still steer. And if you want to keep the boat straight when going on heading mode and, and all that stuff, it gives you that ability. So, but anyways, we got, we got the bow mount plate. Uh, it's a super easy install. It does require drilling. Yep. But three, three holes. Yeah. Three holes in it. We are, we use your handle bolts here. We also put another handle here when the motor is off. You'll be able to, you know, still have your handle. You can, you know, pull the boat up from the trailer or whatever. Yeah, so we have a full install video of this. Yeah, on our YouTube. I'll channel put that in well. the, in the, up in the top here. So if you guys want to check that out, um, but also kind of heading into the front here, the hatch here. Um, one thing they did, they did, they got some foam in here. They got foam in several spots of the kayak, and you know, it's just helping with. For one, I guess it keeps your rod tubes, you yeah, know, kind of in check here. Yeah. Um, but it comes out and you got plenty of access. It's easy access if you needed to get up in there. Plus, I think it helps too. I could be wrong on this. And correct me if I am, but I think possibly it helps too. You know, you're not totally, I wouldn't think you would totally sink the boat. I guess the foam would help. I don't know. I don't know what it yeah. would do on that. But they did put several spots of foam in here. Uh, you see your rod tubes for sure coming through here. Now that does take up a little bit of your space, you know, for storage wise, but I mean, there's still an adequate amount where you could store your rain suits, your stuff like that. There's still plenty yeah. of room in the front here. I almost wish, and I, I probably can't, but I almost wish they would do like a drop-in. Maybe they have one, I yeah. don't know. Yeah, that would be cool if they had a drop-in bucket for this thing, just so we would keep, so you had a little bit of room. Yeah, a little bit of drier, drier storage or something. It would give yeah. you two layers of storage. Yeah, yeah. Um, now, the one thing I will say, we didn't really have no water mm -mm. in this kayak. It was pretty dry. This is the way to come. I mean, we, I mean, yeah. it stayed in the water for well, about six or seven days. Yeah, I mean, like floating. we never, we never took it out of the water. Yeah. So, so I mean, it's, it's a really dry kayak. I will say that it, they did a good job on that. And um, it's got this in there. Yep, made in USA. Amen to that. So, and then you can see on here. I'm gonna try. The camera's gonna get flipped a little bit, but you can see in here, uh, we added the uh, in-hole mounting plate. That was kind of a big deal for the Hobie guys when we did that. A lot of people like that for mounting um, 
uh, the panoptics, yep. fuse panels. Um, Pretty much anything to make your wiring and stuff like that neat and accessible. And yeah. it keeps everything up and out of the way, out of the water. Just in case you do get water in yep. the hole of it. So um, they did, they got some nice clips here, which, you know, they, they've used these on other, their other kayaks when it comes to, you know, keeping the latch uh, tightened down and all that. One thing we do like what Jackson did um, was with the rod storage, like we talked about earlier with the tubes going through. I like how they did it. I like the angle that they put on them as well. You know, like how our, our Hobies are, they're more, I mean, they're angled, but they're not angled that much. So I think it gives you, a little, makes it a little bit easier getting your rods in and all that stuff. I do like how they did that. Um, I like this spot here for like a cooler. Yeah. I think that's really cool with your tie down anchors here. Yeah, I never um, really thought about a cooler being up here. It's like, a, like a Drake cooler or yeah. a small cooler. That's yeah, a perfect yeah. idea. Yeah, I, I really, I really think that is a great idea. I really like the way they funneled all this stuff. But like if you do take water on here, it funnels everything right out to the sides of the kayak. Yep. And all that stuff. I mean, that's that's really cool. And, and this here too has a good ledge on it under it as well. Yeah. So I mean, like absolutely, it's be hard to get a lot of water. But I like that it doesn't put the water down in your boat with this yeah it actually just goes ahead and just pushes it right up yeah gets that little bit more water out of your boat before it even gets to here and these rail systems are legit with with having the three sides where you can put mount you know anything i mean anything yeah. yak attack just about any kind of anything track rail that's system. got a t-nut or anything like that it's perfect and it's on both sides and it runs the full length of the boat yeah on both sides all the way down so i mean if you say that you don't have enough room for accessories then my friend you got more accessories than anybody ever know yeah okay. and you got the rail back here as well yeah yeah they they did a really really great job on making it to where you can make it your own and put stuff wherever you know we got a little rod holder here this was had this here for when the kids are fishing they just yeah. want to stick it down in there when and they that were... actually comes with it yeah yep that's right it does come with that so yep. another thing it comes with too that I, I like is your your cup here uh and also your yes. tackle what is it accessory box yeah the guess. only th my only complaint is, with this is these little this it needs some type of pull tab or something yeah, on it's these it's kind of harder to get it get yeah. them out of there but now if you're in a hurry and it comes with your yep those rod, are rod holders. stagers they hang off the side see we haven't been through all of this comes with some hardware some tools so we haven't read any directions yeah we just kind of this is your way. this is your clamps for like so you can put this on or you can move this around these clamps go here and then you can slide this bucket down on this yeah so the back of it you can see they got these little square like slotted square pieces and they just they they slide right down here and they lock in. Yep. So if you wanted it over to the side of your boat or whatever, but I mean it's got little tool holders and mm -hmm. and it gives you the Allen wrench to adjust that because it does need to be adjusted down. It can't be all the way up here because it won't fit between these little braces. Yeah. So the box has to be these need to be down here somewhere right in here. But yeah, awesome, great idea. Um, I like how they did the seat. Uh, adjustment on it. I think that is a pretty basic simple System so while you're on the water, it's easy to get to your 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 nuts here your your wing knobs or whatever you want to call these but <laughs> uh, It's easy to get to those loosen it up and you can slide it forward and back depending on your leg length uh, for your pedal drive yep. system um, and the seat is Super easy to uninstall and yeah, I mean take it on off that's it's just, got little, it's just got little slots right here. So that's all slots the right there. Yeah, that's, that's the low position. And then that's the high position. So as you can see right here on this seat, this is our new uh, under seat tackle tray yep. um, that we did. Uh, we did it on the native kayaks. A lot of people liked it. The cool thing about this one is, so you can see right now, it's adjusted for the 3700s. And you got this little piece here. So if you are a guy that you just like using 3600s, you can take this piece and you slide it up here and you can use your 3600s. Yep. 
And you also still have a little shelf here in the back. You know, yeah. like and if you use 3600, you could possibly put duals in here. You might be able to put four 3600. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. If you moved that forward, you probably could put uh, four 3600s on there. Um, let's talk about the pedal drive system real quick. Now, this system is pretty nice. Now, if you're coming now, when we when we're going to talk about this, this is something me and James was discussing when we, before we shot this video was, like, I say we come out of the Hobies. We we're, we're fishing out of Hobie three sixties, but we're very neutral when it comes to kayaks because we like fishing and, and trying out all different kinds of kayaks and seeing the pros and cons and how each company does their own thing. This flex drive system is pretty sweet. I mean, mm -hmm. it comes up right here between your legs there. Um, if you want to, like say, you're getting in shallow water, you're pulling it up on your boat trailer, whatever, it's so easy. You pull it up, and it's done. It's no lining the prop up with anything. It's no, you know, hitting something and trying to, to pull your, your pedal drive system out or any of that. It's pretty simple. And yep. if you need to do prop repair on the water, you could do it right here. Yeah, it's pulling up right between your legs. So I thought that was pretty cool. Uh, using this, the, I'm going to say, this boat moves pretty fast to be a big boat yep and i don't even think that we've actually broke it in all the way yet i've talked to a few people and they say that it actually gets even smoother with the more that you use this um because it's like a it's a belt drive system and i mean it is i mean it's slick but it's pretty quiet oh it's super quiet and i mean like say going through the water for to be as a big of a boat as it is it rolls. I mean, it does pretty yeah. good. And I like the beefed up parts of this. You know, yeah. like these parts right here. I mean, that. I mean, you're gonna have to put. I mean, you're probably gonna break the kayak in half yeah. before you break this part right here. I mean, the pedals just seem they're they're solid. You know, yeah. I mean, the whole system is just. It's very thought out. I mean, yeah. you can tell Jackson really spent some time on it and really dialed this thing in. And you can take this part off. Yep. You just take these two spots right here off, and this thing will pop right off, and you can put this in your truck so you don't have to worry about this part getting stolen or if you needed to Stack take some weight out of it or, or yeah. whatever. You can do that. Um, yeah, I mean, if you're going to go all motor and you don't want to have this You can take this whole plate out. Yeah, all this can come out. So, I mean, like I say, it's a really good system. I, I do like this. Out of other pedal drive systems out on the market, I think so far this one is probably one of my favorites uh, compared to, to the bicycle style pedal drop systems. Now I will say, coming out of the Hobie and using a, a, a 360 or the Mirage driver or whatever, this one does work a little more different muscles. Oh yeah. I mean, I mean, compared to like, you feel yeah. it more in your thighs and the back yeah. of your thighs. It's just something that you got, it's whatever you're, whatever you're used to and whatever function that your body yeah. likes better yeah. in my opinion um, this is this would be a perfect option for a pedal drive system that's a that's like this instead of the Hobie drive if you really like the bicycle if you're really good and like that we don't work out a whole lot I mean yeah. as you can tell yeah we're but, just um, but we fat guys like, love fishing <laughs> but, <laughs> but we do we do really like this kayak in the way that the function of the pedal drive actually is compared to a lot of other ones. Yeah. Um, like I said, we already talked about the seat. I do like how they got the steering system on both sides. So, so depending on how water. you're fishing, you know, if I mean, you're lefty you can, or right handed. Yep. Or you're you, fighting you a fish. Yeah, you're fighting a fish. You're you know, you, you're kind of reeling in a little bit and you need to just make a small little adjustment or anything like that. You don't have to put your rods down. Yep. to really make and movements. one other thing that we didn't stress about that this that we do love about the pedal drive system this type of pedal drive system is the instant reverse yes instant reverse is nice when you, oh, when you are fighting a fish that's one thing that we wish that the hobies had i mean yeah. the 360 is is awesome I mean, you can turn that knob, but it ain't as fast as the instant reverse. Well, and you got to take your hands off. So yeah. if you're fighting and you're trying to catch up with the fish or whatever, and you're going towards the bank or you're getting ready to run into something, and you just need to that little instant thing that you need to do to turn that thing around. You don't have to do that with this. Yeah. You know, I mean, it's it's boom, 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 boom. Yep. That's 
that is an awesome feature that I, I really do. Well, also miss. too, like in the wind, like wind situations. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Like if you, your wind's blowing you into a bank, but you're kind of doing that float down the bank. Yeah. You can just kind of let the wind push it and just keep backpedaling where it keeps yep. you off the bank. You know. So uh, that does make it a little easier, hands free, shall we say, more hands free, when it comes to fishing in the Jackson Nar. So um, on space wise. On the side of your seats, I mean, you got you got plenty of room to put a couple of rods down through there, you mm -hmm. know. Um, something we even figured out too is yes, you could put a lot of rods beside you, but you got to think about when you're on the water digging through all those rods and they're hooking one another and this and that. So yeah. it's best to. And that's why we don't use the rod stager things, and that's why they're not on this boat. Yeah. Um, it's there. It's a lot more difficult to get your rods in and out with the rod stager in my opinion because um, you're trying to fish them in and do that and you stack them in it looks awesome and it's a great idea but it's more of a pain in the neck than it's sometimes it's just yeah. too much trouble than what it's worth because you're trying to fish and that's just something else it's just another obstacle to try to work them around but yeah like i said that's that's personal that's opinion. my opinion but some people like it. so um i mean like I say we talked earlier back here oh also the seat Jackson got a really nice, nice comfy seat. Yeah, it's I got mean, some nice cushion in it. Yeah, yeah, it's, I mean, it's, I mean, you could probably put a, uh, a one objective kind of cushion in there if you wanted to. Yeah, I mean, that might help it out just a little bit. But I mean, it's, I mean, sitting in but it for you a really, while, though, you really bad. don't, you really don't. Yeah. Um, behind the seat here, we know we showed you earlier with that, you still have enough room here, even if you wanted to put, like, say, like James talked about earlier, your lunchbox. Yeah. If you, if you didn't want to run, like we were going to talk about, you know, rigging and batteries and stuff, you could put something back there if you really wanted to. Yeah, you could put it back. This is where it's set up for, this is me and Josh have used this. We're both six foot, six foot one. Um, so this is where it worked out for us. Um, and this is what room we had left. Of yeah. course, if you were longer, you had longer legs maybe than us, you would lose a little bit of room, but it's yeah. still plenty of adequate of room store boxes i mean you can, yeah I mean, you can store a little odd and end things in there so um and then you got your like say your bigger tank well back here um i mean even you take this out of there putting like the new black pack in there um i mean you got plenty of room and then you also got a spot here to run your transducer mm -hmm. down through there make everything look nice and fresh and clean get all deuced up yeah and like say your rod holders here you got those in there um Getting back here to the back hatch, I mean, you got a little bit of room here. It's not monstrous. It's good for a battery. Yep. You I don't. We put, haven't put no big one in there yet. Yeah. I don't know how a hundred amp. Or, I would think a hundred amp would fit in here pretty, pretty good. They got a nice seal around here that yeah. hits right here, right in the right area. We also like that. You know, this is your so you can take your rudder out. I mean, it's. Um, yeah. There it is. You want to drag it up on a bank or so it's look. super easy. You don't you know you don't have to take a bunch of covers off to get to anything. And um the way they did their whole pulley system too, I like that. Like it's it's so I and mean, you can get to everything here. You know yeah. what I mean? If you if you have any kind of issues where they break, they're they're easy to Yep. Adjustment, you get a little slack in one of your one of your knobs, you can just easily I mean, you, this is something you could do on the side of the bank if you had a Phillips head screwdriver with you and yeah. just fix it right there. I mean, it's, it's... It's very simple. Yeah. And then, you know, of course, they got the power pole um, lock here. We do make a um, a, a Jackson uh, spacer plate. Mm -hmm. Adapter plate. Yep. And then that way, if you wanted to run one of our mounts, um, you're more than welcome to. Now, the only problem we got to look into with our non-actuated mount is just clearance issues back here but i think possibly everything's gonna yeah. be okay it would still work i think it's not that much yeah. bigger but, but yeah you could run our non-actuated mount um but yeah i mean they did a really good job it's you can see the it's flag yeah got the tow flag going i mean it, this is basically a turnkey fishing boat all you gotta do is put your rods in it and go yep rods life jacket yep rods life paddle. jacket and a paddle but this, this this didn't come with a paddle did it mm -mm. so you might want a paddle just in case something does happen with your pedal drive system, I mean, nine times out of ten, you probably ain't gonna need it. But yep. that one time yep. could happen. So, and, and this is for your steer cables right here. 
if you want to run a motor in the back. Yep, so you can run these right here. And we didn't show you, you missed it, but they got your little spots right here for your lines to come out as well. You can at see least, it right there. At least that's what I think they're for. Yeah. Yep, and we might end up possibly doing Doing something, something putting like a, that too. Because so. if your lines come out there, you're going to have to do something like a, a steer system with pedals or yep. foot foot pedals or I don't know. We, we've got some other stuff in the air that we've talked about doing that might work, but we're not real sure. So, yep. um, but yep. definitely looking forward to rigging this kayak out. Like, in yeah. just, I mean, it ain't going to be a wild build, but just you know, getting a motor and yep. We've got some we got some other things cooking too. Yeah. Some of them we actually had to take off of this. So yeah, just stay tuned. Um, for all those type of accessories. And we do want to give a shout out for Jamie down there at Dugout Bait and Tackle for hooking us up with this so we could get this as early yeah. as we were able to get our hands on this. And uh, this is a good shout out to Dugout. Yeah, they're big. They got all kinds of kayaks and anything like that that you need. Hit if them you, up. If you need a Jackson or need a Hobie, uh, definitely reach out to them. They, they got, and then, you know, they, they just, they can really make things happen for you when it yep. comes to, you know, getting your, getting your kayak you want. So, um, but yeah, I mean, other than that, man, I'd, I'd give Jackson a definitely a 10 out of 10 on this. I mean, I don't say that a lot about many kayaks. Yeah. You know what I mean? But there's I'd, not... I'd give it a 9. You give it a 9? I'd give it a 9. There's always room for improvement. Always. Well, that's what makes this industry yeah. keep going. Yeah. So that's the only reason. But I, I mean, it is a, for this category or the pedal drive, I think that it is it's stout. And it's I, a, I see a lot of questions about steering. You know with these and comparable to like a 180 hobie um i think it's right there with it you know what i mean i mean it's it's not going to turn i see some guys talk about that thing turns on a dime well maybe certain people do but ours did not i mean it it turned okay if you're out in maine like big water and you're mm -hmm. fishing around and you're, you're fishing open bank and all that when you get in between docks that's when it's it, it doesn't make the sharp sharp turns um it's not a 360 for sure. I'm gonna tell you that, but you can't compare that because this is a whole different style. Yeah. This isn't that. It's yeah. a, it's a pedal drive, bike with, style system with, a, with just a rear steer. Yeah. So, like like. But comparable like, compared to the Hobie 180, yeah. it's it's very comparable to that 360. It's hard to beat something when you've got a rudder in the rear and you can turn the pedal the drive, drive at the yeah. same time, so you yeah. can walk it whichever way you want. Yeah. But. So I mean, but I mean, you know, if you get some speed going with that thing and getting it, get get to pumping them legs, and turn it real hard, I mean, she'll steer. You know what I mean? It's just you just got to learn how to work a boat and get out there and play yeah. with it, maneuver it around stuff. But other than that, guys, I mean, that's that's kind of our take on the on the Jackson. But anyways, I mean, you can go check out all these products you see on here at oneobjectivebf.com. Uh, I mean, like saying we got we got other things in the works. Things, more things coming. So make sure you get signed up for our newsletter on there as well. We send out one newsletter a week uh, on a Friday. So you guys can see all our newest products. That's where our newest product gets released at. But anyways, guys, that's our walkthrough. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope it helped you guys when it comes to purchasing this kayak, what you think about it. Like I say, these are just our personal opinions. This is We've been in a lot of different kinds of kayaks. Um, we, we've tested a lot of different things. We've been in some good ones. We've been in some bad ones. This is one of the good ones for sure. Uh, make sure you check out Dugout Bait and Tackle um, for you know your Hobie and Jackson needs. Also, when it comes down to people reaching out to us, I know people have been sending us emails. A lot of our stuff's been going to spam for some reason. I don't know if it's something with some people's emails addresses. Just it brings something. You know how that stuff is with computers and they pick up certain items. So. Um, if you can't reach us on email, always feel free. I'll put the I'll put a link in the description. I mean, a, a, a phone number in the description. Also, I'll put it right here at the bottom. Always feel free to call us. We're very personal. We love talking with our customers. We love helping people get in these things. I know it's when it comes to rigging a kayak, there's a lot of different options, and it can be very confusing. Yep. It can be very confusing for people, and they don't know which route they want to go. Um, and it's like I say, if you call us, we'll help you work through it. If we don't pick up, we will call you back. Uh, sometimes it just takes the end of the day to get our phone calls in because we're kind of busy. So, uh, but other than that, I mean, guys, I hope you enjoyed it. We'll talk to you later. Yep. And I hope to see you on the water.